guys. That's a bit of bar by the looks of it. And a bit of scrap. But look, first row, a beautiful horseshoe. So, yeah, lovely. Oh, my mic to get that off. But yeah, some kind of anchor. Well, mooring thing. Uh, prob probably for the uh, narrowboat. So, yeah. I couldn't get it off the magnet. Handle of a bucket, by the looks of it, and scaffold clamp. Can you believe me? A fork! A fork! Wow, just pulls up that guys. That's like an old knife, isn't it? Oh, the other guys, and all the way up there, so. Oh, I shall get in that when he comes back. Nice. And. Yeah, where's that? It's a funny looking thing. <laughs> So yeah. Chav can bolt. Spark plug. And some random bits of metal. That's one big square nail. You can see that with this sun this morning. Yeah. And I think that's off a, a boot. And metal. Bolt. And whatever that is, in crud, so I shall knock that off and have a look. Well, just knock that off. And it's a bit of fleur, fleur de lis, Rusty, is it? Fleur de lis. Fleur de lis. <laughs> so, yeah, I might take that back and it might come in useful for the restorations or something. So, yeah. a piece of pipe off a washing machine or something got caught on the with a nut that's a looks like a stand something yeah it'll stand and junk metal
a, like a little grate, isn't it? <laughs> Might be a little drain cover or a little grate off something. So yeah. There. And dropped it. And that. No. What? You haven't. No. That's a flow no, bird. No, 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 surely not. It's yeah, it flow is. Flow oh my <laughs> god, you've got a flow bird. Oh, wow. <laughs> no <laughs> way. <laughs> Is it the toy one or is it the real one? Let me shoot, is it just chunk? That is up? definitely a flow bear. Is it just a chunk of metal? No, it's a flower toy. It's a flower toy, but it's a flow bear. It's definitely a flower bird. Yeah. Like Steve says, I think it might be the toy. Let's have a look. Just feel the weight of it, I'll soon tell you. Might not be. Oh no, that's way heavier than the toy one I cleaned with it. Yeah. That's the real deal. <laughs> 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 She's finally got one! Yes! She's got a flow bird! Yes! Oh god! Well, I always wanted to find Tell a Tell everybody flower. Marie what my bucket needs find is and you found it! The flow bird! Look at that! That is awesome! Oh, we've got to be careful with that, look at that! Oh! Um. <laughs> got to really protect that hair! <laughs> that looks it. so fragile! Your little face as well was a picture! <laughs> <laughs> I could cry! Oh, I thought she was having me on at first. Oh, Marie! She got a tear in her eye. Here. I am. I wonder where that cubby is. Put that cub there. Come in, That's the gun for the line for the night. You never know what I'm going to I've got a roller skate. Like you know what I'm doing there. Marie's killing it this morning. She's really good. Roller skate. Oh, dear. Funny shape pins. And somewhere under there is a piece of scaffold chain. And And a blanksy blank, Mike. Do do do. I found a flower. Thank you very much. So as soon as Marie's on my bucket list find out, I've got to found that. And I found that, which I think is a tooth off a, a dragging part or a... It's off a JCB, that. It's off a JCB. There you go, it's a tooth off a JCB. We've got a... It's a mic. Yes, uh, folks, just keep watching, like, subscribe to Piggy Dippers. I'll tell you what. And there's and that's a nice old handle, that. I've got one of them. Have you? I wonder if it's off of an old kettle or something. It's got a cauldron. Yeah, oh yeah. Lick my little cauldron. Yeah. So it's pulled out some scissors, look. Yeah, water in it. Well, they're not scissors, them uh, tweezer things. The sun shining. It's found an old gate latch. I to ask Steve, because I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Oh, it's like a two. Well, you've got a two. It looks, it looks like one. So, Marie, we're here with Marie from Pinky Nippers, <laughs> and she's here to talk about her Hobart. <laughs> I'm speechless. She's speechless. <laughs> Talking about speechless, look what I've just found, guys. I've just found a tooth 
on a piece of metal and ironically the metal is curved like a jaw is that an old implant is that somebody from back in the day who's had the jaw broken anybody seen my false teeth <laughs> I'm keeping that. Is it one of mine? Victoria Panker. <laughs> no, no, that's really bad. It's fair than that. Don't know if it's off an old gas main wheel or whether it's off. I don't know what it's off. There you go. Solid piece of steel. I've got a spike off a fence. Okay. Put it with a collection bucket in my bucket. Right over there. Oh, it's not. It's a, that's the same toy as what we had before. Oh, yeah. the square handle. I've seen one of them. All the barrels missing, but yeah. that is part of that toy. Good on you. Yeah. Remember the toy I pulled out? Oh god, yeah. It's Another like one. A spud gun. So let's show you that a bit close, that. Yeah, I'm ready to pull the flood yeah. as well. Is it me, uh, rain cover? Well done, top the there one. you go, so that's a little toy gun. Oh, we'll take it back for a clean up. You can, um, a little fleur de lis. Them fleur de lis today. Fleur de lis. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't they? It beautiful. Oh, that's the Irish one, that's a lead of fleur. A lead of fleur. <laughs> I don't know which setter I did, he used to walk backwards and wag his head. <laughs> that I pulled that out earlier. Yeah. That fleur de lis is off the top of you. And what I whacked it? it and it broke off, yeah. Oh, okay. Piece of fish plate or something there. Um, a magnetic rock. Another little handle off a spade or something. Oh, I've got airplane! Oh no! <laughs> is, it, is, is it a Vulcan? Oh lovely. It's a bit plain though. I found a piece of an airplane. Like that. It's one of my old toys, it's got the white at the front, and you put an elastic band, yeah, yeah, it glowed. I had one. That line you fly like that, that. So, Ricky Rhubarb from Cambridge Magnificent has just confirmed he had one, so we're going back to the 40s, 50s. <laughs> <laughs> 70s. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist. That's why that flies like that. Right, just show you some of the finds. Spade. <laughs> and padlock. Hook. And that looks like a really, really old fork. There. And that's a funny hook. So we're coming so back. And a very, very, very small lob now. Boot. Look at that. So yeah. Small finds. White lock. Bungee and a set of forks off a bike. And I've just noticed on the magnet, here's a little pen knife. Doubt it's going to be any good, but I'll get Glenn to have a look at it. Well, I think that's off, off some scaffolding of some sort. I think. I'm not too sure. Pole. And that. So, I don't really know. I'm going to go and ask Rusty, I think, in a minute. So, it's unusual. It's got a ring huh? It's got a ring for it. What do you think it is? Well, I think it's a gas burner. Just had some voice off Ricky and yet that's what he thinks because you can see little holes going round. So yeah, one of them. 
just pulled out an old bike. And we can't go on the day without a spoon. That's a bit of a weird one. As you can see, it's got some uh, some writing on it there. I think it's is it SRS or GRS. So yeah, who knows? Well, that's a lot of keys. Razor blade. blade. Well, I've just pulled that up. Look at all those keys on there. And I know for the fact that's a gas key. <laughs> so yeah, big old chunk of keys. Oh, thanks, Nick. But oh, old boy, see, look at that. <laughs> oh, I've got a nice cup of tea, off Nick. Yeah. I'm shoveling it in. Look at that for a shovel. It's a nice big old shovel. <laughs> That's a big one. Well, she, she, got a good find anyway. she did get a good find, so I'm going to let you off. But oh, you've been down there. Oh, I found all this. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look what you've got. That is a bullet casing, 20 mil, and it did come up with a magnetic piece there, so I didn't, I didn't plant that one. Uh, so that's that. <laughs> I didn't plant that one. <laughs> I didn't plant that one. Plant it, plant it. Got a padlock. Squire. That's not mine to shout. Uh, oh, I've got a pocket watch. Came up on the magnet, so I don't think it's anything special. But I'll still clean it up either way. Old pad, uh, um, old uh, finger. We don't know what that is, so I'm going to clean that up and have a look. Might be just some kind of lever off a gate. Mm. Uh, what else have I got? You've been finding bits without me then? Yeah. Loads of horseshoes and obnail boots. Absolute tons of them. Um, and there's bits here for me to clean up for other people, so I don't know what that is. It's a bit uniform, that. So, yeah, finding bits. So, literally just pulled that up. Literally, looks like it's still dripping wet. Get your phones on camera. Okay, well, bring the camera because I've got all the bits. Oh. I'm not going to bring them all to the camera, am I? Right, let's take, let's take you over. Dear me. I've had to tell him off. All this is planted, of course. Uh, so, yeah, um, big building top. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> building top. We've got square nails, piece of copper wire. We've got these things, I think them off the side ends to the river. We've got that. That's an inch. An inch? An inch. It's an Look, inch. You can see the loop on the end. That could be the handle to my saucepan. What? <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> Lots of metal spikes. Uh, yeah, that. Just loads of metal strapping. You've got I think. a spade handle. I think they're off the old barrels, aren't they, bollocks? Yeah. Barrel ring. Barrel ring. I did find this earlier. I wonder if it was a belt buckle. You know what they used to have on the shoes, wouldn't they? Like the Tudor type. Well, it yeah. wouldn't be a belt buckle then, would it? A, a shoe strap. buckle. A strap <laughs> A strap buckle. buckle. Uh, yeah, and all this kind of stuff, so. Any more good stuff, I'll be oh. back on the camera. <laughs> Oh, it's a little pen knife there, look. Nice. Old as well. Right, just show you a couple of these I've pulled up. Pulled up those pliers there. Don't know if they'll be any good now. And a door lock thing. A couple of fishing lures. There we go. And combination bite lock. Yeah, come back to you in a minute. Well, Glenn pulled that out earlier, but I never got to show you. Is that like a bowl handle? Yeah, it's a horn. Horn. It's a horn. Horn handle knife. Oh, yeah. Lovely. And that's from you. Fish feeder. 
I don't know if it's in one piece, I'm not too sure, I'm not a fisherman, but I'm well, not a fish fisherman. It's an old seat. Turn a chain with a hook. And whatever that is. So I don't think these guys have been on the video yet, but here they are, the rock stars, there's Good Jabba, afternoon. and there's Rocky Fish. So yeah, they've come, well, they've, we come to their invite really, but that was later than us, but that's a different story, we won't go into that, will we? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, plenty more times down here in the summer guys, I think it's going to be plenty of meat, absolutely perfect. Huh? Yeah, I'm tied up to my box. Yeah, <laughs> look at this, guys. You can see that the ropes, look, literally you can throw over there, and by the time you go to put your magnets down there, so the, the undercurrent in here is really strong. But, uh, we did have the same problem, well, the same issue down that bridge down there the other week. So, yeah, guys, come back in a minute if we find something. Well, I've just pulled out a fork. Fork off. You're the devil <laughs> and just go. Fork, and you can find that, Marie. And, and a great find there, look. A great find there! Look at that! A great live barge. Yeah. So, pull those out. I don't know, do you reckon they're unkeepable? Fixable? Oh, we're all one. You're it. No, and we uh, think that's the end, the maybe off the knife. Magnet. Well, but uh, we'll check that out. Not worth and, have to do the extra inch in I found a little trowel to do some planting. Yay! Well, that's an old point in trail, that one. Come on, it! Got it! Too far gone. Hello. Uh, you do the talking then. You do the talking then. I'll just pull that out. I'll try. As you can see. I don't know if. Uh, yeah, come and put your calcer, babes. But uh, there is some word in there. Too far gone. But it's way far gone. So mm. looks like well, they use stickers for the writing, so Yeah, I don't think it's too old to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> right everybody, it's come to the end of the day and what a day it's been. It's finds finds all around. Yes. So look out North fans, magnet fishing, he's had some decent finds. There's Nicola. There's Aaron. <laughs> Ricky Rhubarb, Cambridge Magnificent, go across to their Facebook page, guys. What an awesome bloke and a brilliant group. So, like, subscribe, and uh, put a nice like on there. Uh. Look, they got me a little fright. Oh, look, Nicola's got a little fright. Oh, Nicola. I'll get you a nice little pigeon egg to put in there. Oh, thanks. That's a diet. Well, I'll get a nice little pigeon egg to crack in now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Marie there. Marie's had a brilliant find today. Thank you, Marie. So, well, I'm saying thank you, thank my you. wife. Really. <laughs> thank you, Marie. There we go, we've got Dave Camino. We've got Camino. I'm usually the one that gets it right as well. We've got Ben, Jabba, and Rusty. So, cheers, guys. See you next time. Hello everybody, Peaky Dippers, Peaky, Marie's behind the camera. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching the premiere. And uh, it was one of our best days, wasn't it, Marie? Yeah. For mm -hmm. finds. Uh, Marie pulled up our bucket this fine, which I'll show you in a minute. I've cleaned up and we can keep it, and I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, we've had another thing that's interesting, but I'll show you all the rest of the stuff anyway. Lots of history come out that day, lots of history. Yeah, so lots. <laughs> that's what we go out for. Um, so I'll show you this first. So we had a... 
you got an aeroplane? Yeah, uh, pulled an aeroplane in the canal <laughs> and the river. Yeah, so I uh, pulled it. These was uh, toys back when I was holding you put it on elastic band and you'd catapult it and it'd psh, and it got a little white on the nose of the plane there. I <laughs> uh, used to get these out of the paper shops. If you was a good boy and your dad treated you. So that's that. Oh, just stuck to me. There you go. Marie found this. We wondered what it was at first. No, I think you found that boat. Oh, I found this. Mm -hmm. But uh, it don't matter who found what. But anyway, this was found. And uh, I thought at first it was a pendulum off a clock. And I noticed the owls. And it's a fishing cage. Fish feeder. I don't know the technical term for it because I don't fish. First time I've seen one of them. Mm -hmm. But you, you stuff all your, your your food in there and yeah. you you know you bite up, so that's a fishing item. Then with a bunch of keys, and I've separated them all. Oh, that's the keys. That was all crusted together. I've separated them all up. So we've got uh, house keys, garden gate keys, uh, just the normal house keys. Just the old keys. All on the one bunch, huh? Yeah. Little brass tag. And there was a gas key on it. And that, that was a quite handy. Yeah. So I've arrived the actual gas key. I think it's a gas key. Yeah. That one. And then there was this lunky. Okay, long that keys. Wow. Well, well, that's a long one. Thank you very much. So a nice long key there. Then um, I pulled up where I thought was um, a brass casing for a, a um, you know, like an anti aircraft or something. And. Um, I cleaned it up and it became apparent it wasn't brass at all. It's more like a, a tin and it's got a tin end and it's got a little snout on the top there and it's hollow. It does look like one though, doesn't it? But we don't know what it is. It's not nothing bang bang. It's, we don't know if it's some kind of, you'd screwed the lid on, it was some kind of, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. If you know what that is, guys, if you think you know what that is, let me know. There's no writing on it. But it come up with a magnet, so that's that. Then we've got lots to show you, guys. I do apologise. Uh, found a piece of shot, which is always nice to find. A little piece of shot. So that's going with my little cannonball collection. <laughs> lots of little uh, ball bearings hanging about. Uh, we've got two normal fishing lures. They come up all the time, obviously with magnet fishing. Two little fishing lures. Then ones that's going to be because these um these have had it. They've been bashed about by the river. We had the remains of an old pocket watch. Look at that. Yeah. That's that. Obviously not a precious metal, but yeah. little old pocket watch that somebody would have wore. Yeah, it makes you wonder the, the history behind them. Yeah. We had a hooky thing. I couldn't call it a hooky thing. It's an unusual hook. <laughs> yeah, I think this is some kind of, I might be wrong, it's some kind of bracing thing for pheasants or for pigeons or something like that when you've slaughtered them you can... Oh yeah, yeah, I know yeah. It, yeah. I pulled something similar to this out in Reading when I went there and it was called, it was like a pheasant brace that you hung pheasants on. This could be for smaller game. Could be right. I'd say it's definitely some kind of butchery hook anyway, so that's that. Then we got two old pen knives. And the past it. Then past it. These will just go in the bin, these will, guys. There's nothing, you can't get the blades out, they're all broken up and eroded. Oh, yeah. So they're rubbish. Um, pulled a, like a fleur de lis crown up, which I've still got to clean up a bit more. But on the same. Lots of little bits thing, of fleur There's another fleur de lis thing come up as well. And if you watch North Ant's Magnet Fishing, I believe he pulled a fleur de lis up as well. So. There was some Victorian houses with we magnet fishing in front of, so wherever these have come off out the houses, we did pull a lot of shovels and pokers up, fire pokers, so whether they renovated the houses and they just chucked everything in the river, I don't know. That but does look like a crown, doesn't it? it, it well, yeah, it's it, it kind of one. But yeah. yeah, so that's them. We've got an old padlock. Well, it's nice to find an old padlock, I suppose. Yeah. I'd like an older one, Victorian, but that's probably like a... 30s, 40s one. Uh, quite common to come by. Then we've got a hook on a chain. Is that a keeper? You think you can oh, probably, uh, yeah, use it? The bulk house was putting you know, things in your sheds and mm. in the garden. Yeah. 
Maybe. Yeah. If I ever get the time to clean that up. Uh, we've got, um, now this, uh, hang on, bear with me. I'll get another version of this and I'll show you what it was. You can see there's like a barrel and a, a stock and everything. This is a toy gun because last year in Birmingham I pulled up the same damn thing. Oh, is that the same one? Same gun. Is that the same gun? Oh, and the barrel's just broken off The barrel's broke off this one. This one's obviously had it. This will just go in the bin, but that is what it would have been. Ah. This is a toy gun, um, and they would have cocked it like that, and I think they'd put a little snap in there, a little banger, or a, it could even be just be a spud gun, potato gun. Yeah. And they used to, but yeah, say 50s, little ah. toy, little toy from the 50s. So that's going in the bin. So that is that one. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, both of them. Identical. So the dog's trying to get in the door. <laughs> yeah. Let's pull the door shut. <laughs> Sorry, Rocker. <laughs> uh, so that can go in the bin because it, it's not worth keeping. So that's the one I found last year in Birmingham. There. I put that down there so I don't get mixed up. We found an old trowel. This is an old one, that. It is, yeah. I know somebody who's collecting tools, so I'll just keep it for him. Um, I'm not bothered with them. We found this. I've bashed it about. Oh, it's just a piece of metal trim. Again, now I go in the bin. I bought it back. Because until you tap things about, you don't really know what they are to clean them up, so it's always worth having a look. Right, getting a little bit more interesting now. Marie probably is best to pan down on this one, but this is all the old shoes we found for the day. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Horseshoes, that's obviously a pit pony because it's small. All these are big, that's a big show horse. I and mean, then you've got your normal, I think these are mining horses to be fair. Oh, how many other is? <laughs> yeah, so we did do really well with the horseshoes. These will be cleaned up, and uh, these will be available at our collaboration uh, to raffle on or purchase, or whatever you want to do. But they'll be in uh, a better state, yeah, hopefully. But <laughs> you can never tell till you clean them up whether they're going to stop in one piece. Mm -hmm. Um, found a, a knife, very old knife, but it's got a nice horn handle. Nice, look at that, nice horn. Mm. So it's some kind of antler horn that they use. Could just be cow horn, I don't know, but still nice. It's got quite a, bit, quite a big knife, isn't it? Yeah. I think it might have been like an old would have been. butchery <laughs> knife, you know. Um, right, um keys so we had a little old fashioned key there quite ornate if you look at it closely so it's quite old it could be to a little music box or a jewelry box or something from back in the day uh, we had uh, two medium keys I don't know what that is I don't know if that's some kind of a clock key because it's got no unless it's lost its end I don't know that's that one. And we've got that one. Just a normal old guide key. And we've got a slightly bigger one. Again, these are all decently old. That's that one. But look at that one. Look how big that is. That's, beautiful, That's the daddy in it. Still needs cleaning up. I might chemical metal the top here and redo the key up and I'll paint it black and again. It'll probably just be a piece that I'll keep for my garden. There you go, so it's quite a decent sized key that is. Yeah. We'll look out on next week's video. I'm not on saying I'm more, I'll just say key. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else we got? Right, and uh, with all shoes, um, we've, I've never had so many in one go. With horseshoes, we've pulled up all these. These are hobnail boots from, some of them are army boots, some of them are um, they're not all military, that some of them can literally be out of people's boots from back in the day because we live in a throwaway world now where we go and buy a new pair of shoes when they're wrecked but in them days they repaired them all and that's what they used to put in the heels, heels. and the towels of the boots so that you could use them more so back in the good old days right, best finds yeah dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Best finds of the day.
Right, I'll show this one first because um, I don't have to waffle on about this one. But this was a lump of crud. We could see what it was and this is what it ended out looking like. That is a tip top 1880s? 1890s. 1890s. Derringer. Derringer uh, toy gun. It is only a toy. We've researched it. Maria put a photo on there of this. I think she's got a photo of this, what they should look like. Yeah. Um, it doesn't work, obviously. It's all seized up. I'm not going to clean that up no more. It's just going to go on display like that. And um, I believe a cleaned up one in good condition is worth about $700. I've seen on Google. Yeah, if it's in really if good condition. If it's in immaculate condition. But uh, yeah, this one, still a nice little find. It's not a real gun, unfortunately. It's not a, a flower, but like I thought it was. But still a nice still find. Still happy. Yeah, still happy with that. So that was our bucket list find, kind of. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Now this piece here guys, you probably saw me pull this out and uh, we are now onto a dentistry um, college. Museum. Museum, sorry. Yeah. A dentistry museum. So I'll show you the piece first. It is metal before I get people saying you've not pulled it out of the river. There's a magnet, there's it stuck to the magnet. Right. And what this is, we think, is a jaw implant. No, I'm not going to put a H on the front. A jaw implant to a World War One soldier. And there's the tooth. Now, whether it had more teeth on at one point, I don't know. But if you look at the curvature of it, and the thickness of it, it is yeah. about, the right, about the right shape and length and what have you for a jaw implant. Now, feel free to go into Google. Type into Google World War One. Turn around. Type into Google World War One so, um, jaw implants and you will see soldiers, pictures of soldiers come up, which I'm not prepared to put on this video since no. it's a bit gruesome. But it does show you that World War One had a hell of a lot of soldiers that lost the jaws from explosions. And I'm thinking that I put this in to a soldier. Mm -hmm. How it's gone in the river, I don't know. Whether the body's been in there or whatever, I don't know. But I think, once I get the answer back, I will update you guys. I might even do a live on it. Yeah. But we are looking at printing. If it is what it, we think it is, it we'll will, we'll will go into a museum. We'll do another video on uh, if, when we're getting the information back on it. Yeah. Just a short little So bit. it's a good find, but it's a gruesome find. Um, and I don't know if they can ever get this back to who it belongs to or the family or whatever, but I doubt they can. But that... I feel if that is what I think it is, then it needs yeah. to be in a museum. We'll see, we'll see what they say anyway. Yeah, it's somebody's. It's you can't get no more intimate to somebody to that, can you? <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know. So that's part of their body. So yeah. So we think it's part of a jaw with a tooth. It's a metal piece, so we think it's some kind of an implant. There we go. I can't say no more on it because I don't know, but we will update you. Uh, I might even do a live if it become if it comes bigger than what I think it is, and then we'll do a live and I can talk to you more about it, guys. So there you go. Happy with that. Happy with that. Then my two finds of the day that day, and we was half the moon with them. All the rest of the things are nice, the old shoes and the beautiful and, and the bits that we keep. So yeah. So thank you everybody for joining. Go and check out Dudley Dippers. She's just hit the thousand subscribers. She's actually at thousand and thirty now. Yeah. So better. congratulations to Nicola. Uh, like subscribe if you haven't already to Nicola at Dudley Dippers. Rusty nuts, no fans magnet fishing, and of course, of course, if you're not if you're not subscribed to us, do it. Buy order the Peaky Dippers. <laughs> so stay safe, guys. See you next time, and uh, look after yourselves and keep magnet fishing. <laughs>